another polar language um, I do like to apologize it's been a while since I uploaded any videos and stuff like that um, yeah as you some guys would know and some would not know uh, I, I have a software company so um, time is really hard for me to really sit down and and do these um, videos but I really appreciate all the email emails and the texts and some of the calls you guys been sending me and texting me and um, telling me to to do more videos um, that's been really amazing from all of you guys I really appreciate that um, I'll try and really be hard and find some time and be consistent by delivering these videos um, I'm always learning myself you know I've I've spent some time while I wasn't doing the videos and I've been going through the book and I've been writing my own so I've rewrite the whole book out as a note for myself something that I carry I've got like a A4 book that I've been um, learning myself on the side and just memorizing some words and stuff um, really taking my time and learning it while I was off the videos as you know I'm not doing these videos for any financial gain or to get users or followers or stuff like that um, I just want to help those who are in the diaspora um, to learn Pula because it's such an important language especially if you're a Fulani or you're from our culture or who whoever wants to learn you know learning is, is a really amazing thing the more you learn the more you know right uh, and it's a liberation tool because it helps you to free your mind and especially if you're looking to go back to Guinea and stuff like that but anyway I'll stop talking now because most of you guys just want to come in and learn about Pula um, but yeah please keep in touch thank you for encouraging me thank you for sending me texts and an email and, and thank you very much I really appreciate all that thank you um, so let's continue our polar lesson. So we 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 done greetings and we've done introduction. So now we're gonna focus on family, right? Because family is very important, right? So let's start with Baba. Baba means father. Ben means father in a respectful way. Remember, Pula is a very respectful culture, right? Some words you have to use respect when you're talking to certain people. So we have Baba. We have Ben, right? Um, so, father for both of them. And we have Nene and we have Yuma, right? So, Nene means mother. Yuma means mother, also respectful. Uh, we have Ben Maudo, means your father, older brother. Or, again, respectful father, older, right? So, it could be anyone older than your father, which is Ben Maudo. And we have Minyang, right? So we have younger brother and younger sister, Minyang, right? So Minyang is your younger sister or younger brother. And we have Koto, so we have Koto, which is your older brother or anyone who's a man or men who are older than you, you kind of call them Koto, right? Koto Uncle Armadu. Um, so I have a Koto and his name is Armadu, right? Uh, Jaja means older sister, so Jaja means older sister, Jaja. And we have Kau means uh, mother's brother, and we have Bapa means father brother. So Kau is on your mother's side, Bapa is on your father's side, right? Uh, we have Yaya means is your father's sister. Um, it doesn't say if it's a younger sister or older sister, it just says sis, father, sister. So Yaya could be your father, younger sister or older sister. Yaya. And we have Soro. So Soro is your grandfather. Uh, Patty is your grandmother. Patty. So we have Bengu, which is your wife. We have Modi, which is your husband. So Bengu, Modi. Um, Canaan means your older sister, husband, or wife, younger brother. Um, that's what Canaan means. The picture is in the wrong place. should be below the word. So Canaan means older sister, husband, or younger brother. Um, and then we have Isarawa. Isarawa means in-laws, right? In-law, Isarawa, right? Your in-laws. Um, we have Nene Goto. 
which is your full sibling, same mother, same father, nene goto, right? Of course, the mom is very important. So it's the same mother, same father, nene goto. And then we have baba goto, so half sibling, so same father, different mother. Baba goto, same father, different uh, mother, so half siblings. And then we have Sinai, which is your co-wife, right? Uh, we have uh, Tanire, or Tanire means your grandchild, yeah? So your grandchild. And then we have Maube. Maube means parents, older relative or older ones. So remember Maube, Maube, right? So Maube. Um, so we have Bitto, Bitbe. Right, so bitto is singular child, bitbe is children, plural, right? And we have gorejo, right? Age mate. Um, we have age mate, gorejo, age mate. Um, bengurending, bengurending, bengurending means the nuclear family or the whole family, including wife and children. That's what bengurending means, it's the whole family. Um, and we have um, misidol gal, so misidol gal means extended family, right? Uh, misidol gal, misidol, misidol gal, misidol gal means extended family. Um, and then we have misodo sido, misodo sido means relative, right? Um, these are your relative. And we have um, jatigi means a friend or a lover jatigi a friend or a lover um, and then we have gido gido means a friend yeah someone who's your friend gido um, so you're asking someone question kohomboni um, kohomboni who is that kohomboni kosaliuni kosaliuni that is saliu so saliu is a person um, ko Amaduni, ko Ibrahimni, ko ko Angni, right, that's you. Uh, ko Koto Angni, you know, that's my older brother. Remember Koto again, older brother. Ko Koto Angni, ko Koto Angni, yeah. And then we have ko Minyurai Bijelu Marada, um, ko Minyurai Bijelu. So they should say how many, um, how many younger um, siblings do you have? Um, but it says, I think the translation is a little bit wrong here. It says, that's three younger siblings I have. Um, how many young siblings do you have? I believe the translation is wrong here. Means how many um, young siblings do you have? Um, how old are you? Remember, do be jelu. Maruda, have. Maruda means have. How old are you? Right? Kodu be no guy a jetati mi mari. Kodu be no guy a jetati mi mari. So I am 28 years old. Kodu be jelly maruda. How old? Kodu be jelly o mari. Kodu be jelly o means how old is he? He. Kodu be jelly maruda. How old is he? Kodu be sapo. A goto mi mari. Um, that's 11 years old he has. That's 11 years old. Because sapo e go o. Go o mari. Right? Adama hawa ko jaja ang. So Adama hawa. So this lady or this woman. Adama hawa. Hawa is a woman name. Ko jaja ang. Um, she's my sister, older sister. Adama hawa is my older sister. Jariatu ko bengo, you could say, um, Janus or Musa ko Jariatu ko bengo, this person, right? So Jariatu is this person's wife, right? Jariatu ko bengo, remember what bengo means? Wife, yeah? Uh, American tato, American tato, I think the spelling here is wrong, should say tato, T A T O. Uh, free Americans, right? Not taco. Uh -huh. American betato means free Americans, right? So again, 
just bear watch the spelling because I think I spelled that wrong here well I did spell this wrong here called American Tato Mar American Tato means free uh, Americans Kodubitati right um, Dubitati means three years right so again tati means three years free tato means free but as a person you're 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 saying free people do be tati three years american jello how many americans yeah could do be jello how many years call um well it just says do be jello do be jello how many years right so now we come to count people things and item so in fuller there's or in puller there's um, two ways to do your counting right so you could count things and items which is go or you could count people which is go to right so go to mean people so that's one go go to didi dido tati Tato Nai Nayo Joey Joey Joe Jago Jago. So now you see in some cases um, people and items when come down to six it's the same thing. So Jago Jago, Jago, six, right? Um, it's the same thing. There's no difference there. And then we have J Didi, J Dido, J Didi, J Dido, J Tati, J Tato, J Tati, J Tato. We have um, J Nai, J Nayo, J Nai, J Nayo. And we have Sapo, Sapo. Sapo e goto, sapo e goto. Sapo e didi, sapo e dido. Sapo e jenai, sapo e jenayo. Right? So this is 19. Sapo e jenai, sapo e jenayo. 19. I skip some because there's no point me going through from one to all of them because it's the same rhythm. You know, you if you get count from one from 0 to, to 10 you pretty much repeating yourself um, we have no guy no guy which is 20 right and then of course it goes in the same rhythm no guy goto no guy goto right and then we have chapande tati chapande tato which is 30 chapande chapande means 30 um, chapande tati so remember tati means free so chapande is free zero which is 30 right or chapande tato and then we have of course the same thing chapande tati e goto chapande tati um, e goto so i don't know why i keep putting um t a um c o it should say t a t o right chapande tato e goto which is 31 and then we have chapande a night which is 40 chapande a joy which is 50 um, chapande a jago which is 60 um, chapande a j didi which is 70 remember chapande a j didi 70 and then we have an chapande a j tati which is 80 and then we have chapande j nai which is 90 right um, and then just the last touch up things Kobaba Angni, right? That is my father. Kobaba Angni, that is my father. Um, Kobaba Amaduni, right? Kobaba Amaduni. Amadu, remember, is a person. Uh, Kobaba or Koben Amaduni, right? So remember, Ben and Baba is the same thing. Kobaba Amaduni, that's Amadu father, right? Miwawa uh, Pular, I don't speak Pular, right? Miwawa Pular, Awawa Wawa Pular, I don't speak Pular. 
wo o senai pula um he say he doesn't speak pula right um i need to really double check this cuz i i just for some reason i don't know if I, i've got a feeling that that's that's incorrect but i'm assuming maybe i haven't spelled this wrong or written this wrong um but i'll look into this one more if you find something similar or if you know someone please correct this here um he does not speak pula um so i'll leave you with this one wo himo mari bibbe no guy remember what no guy means so they said he has 20 children um wo himo mari remember um he has bibbe remember children um bibbe um no guy no guy means 20 right so he has 20 um children <laughs> which is a lot of children um yeah so i'm going to leave it there guys and um hopefully you see me next week um sunday and then we we'll continue these lectures but again thank you very much um you know please like and subscribe as always and share with other people um and and of course there is a website for it um there is a website i've just been building on the background uh for techrise media um i'm really passionate about this because i really want to set up like a a um software company in guinea so i'm actually working on that um so if you know anybody in guinea anybody who could we could start something with um because we could maybe start like uh if you also into technology or you're interested in the ideas you know send me an email um let's connect let's talk to each other right um i'm planning to go to guinea very soon cuz i have to go um see some family because of an emergency so i will be there around june um ending of june so if you live in guinea and you're interested in meeting up and talking to me um please give me a shout um and then yeah we'll, it will be nice for us to to meet up and maybe talk about pola or anything else you know um so definitely look into that and also i have created um a little app using flutter um for the pola language you know so go and download it i do get a lot of people emailing me straight from asking me to improve the app and and stuff like that i will work on the app i'm actually thinking of doing a machine learning version for the app where you could take out your camera and then you could detect an image or you could detect like a book and then it will tell you what it is in pola and then someone like would say the voice so i am working on that like an object detection um type of um app that would help you to learn pola more by pretty much for example you could take a picture of a like a woman it would say um this is a woman in pola right uh or you could take a put picture of a chair and it would say um this is a chair in pola um so that's something i'm currently working on now i'm building um but yeah guys send me an email anytime happy to help um happy to include um what i'm doing or what i'm looking to do when i get to guinea um again if you're in guinea conakry and you're interested in meeting up um please let me know we could meet up and we could talk all right then wa onjara ma onjara ma um Awa enjoy ni si Allah jabi oh